Well, I don't know, it's finished one apiece this afternoon with the town against Marine. Um, a very difficult game with them, but at the same time, conditions you'll be more than used to playing in. Yeah, it's something quite quite familiar with here. Um, so we, we, we knew what the conditions were going to be like. We knew that it was going to be two sort of polar, polar opposites um, sides to the game. So, so we knew we had to deal with that. Obviously, first half, um, deal, dealing with the wind. They're uh, going to put a lot of balls forward, so so how we how we deal with that? Like you say, we we've got a bit of experience with that. I thought we play play those conditions um, particularly well, apart apart from the goal we conceded, and then, and then to capitalise and make a most in the second half, which we just we, we we probably didn't do enough in the end, but we we still did did quite quite well considering. Yeah, that's one of those games really as well where the, the goal that Marine did score on the whole it would defend well, but that just that sort of one moment really, it's a bit of a kick in the teeth for Armstrong at half time as well. Yeah, it was it was our own mistake. A lack of communication, putting the ball in the in the in the wrong areas when we're defending. But yeah, the winds played winds played a part, but you'd like to think we can we can defend a little bit better than that, yeah. Yeah, and in, in the second half you want to mention how the wind how it was back because I'm sure it's one of those that when you won the toss that was something you were keen to try and work on in that second period um, and the goal eventually came on the back of a sustained period of pressure I mean I don't know how much you knew about it in terms of whether it was going to be given or not and it was more sort of an instinctive finish from yourself yeah so um, I wasn't really finished from from myself um, I, I drove the ball acro across the box it was was I just put it in an area um, just took a few few deflections I think it's come off there mm. Defender's head head in the end, sliced off his head, looped back over, and they've sort of sc scrambled back to the line and tried to tried to clear it. So it was it was close. I, I was probably the closest to it at the time. Yeah. Was it over? Um, I, w I wouldn't I wouldn't bet either way, but but it was very close. The, la the line has obviously got the got the best view, and he, he thought it was. So so we'll take that. Yeah, that's that's the main thing, isn't it? Really, obviously, you know, in those conditions, it kind of felt that. You know, it's always going to be a scrapper goal, but that's also the flip side as well. We've conceded quite a few scrapper goals this season. Nice to get on the, the opposite we, end of themselves. We have, yeah. We've we, we've conceded them and um, a few scrappy ones that that we've chances we have haven't gone over the line as well. We had another another one or two out there. Um, we had a couple of other couple of other chances where five six yards out and the, the keepers made good saves or or we just haven't connected right. So. You, you, you take what you get from arms, don't you? Yeah, and just looking ahead, it'd be, I imagine it'd be quite a different game on uh, Boxing Day for more than that one. Hopefully, the win won't be as, uh, as strong as it has been. A chance to really have a, a good football match on the up on the 3G of that. Yeah, di different game altogether, yeah. Um, I wouldn't mind doing, doing that every yeah. week, but um, <laughs> yeah, completely different, completely different game, com completely different surface. Dif dif different approach, I suppose. So, so yeah, uh, more, of a, more of a football game on Saturday. So, I'm just